Hello students, now we are going to continue from the part which I have left in my first video about the chapter called electrochemistry. Okay. Now I have already explained you the meaning of this. So this is called conductivity shells. Okay. Where we observe conductance. Okay. It is called conductivity shells. And this distance between the two electrodes is called L. And the circular base is called cross section area of the electrode. This formula is pi r square absolutely in the last class. So this is the distance between two electrode L and this is the cross section area of the electrode. Same out here also. And this is the distance between two electrode L and this is the cross section area of the electrode. And all of them are connected with a battery somewhere. Okay. And whatever solution which we put inside, whatever solution we put inside is called electrolytic cell. So whatever solution we put inside is called electrolytic cell. Whatever solution we put inside this is called electrolytic shell which conducts electricity through movement of ions I said you in my first class. Metallic conductors they conduct electricity through movement of electron whereas electrolytic solution they conduct electricity through movement of ions. Okay. Now I am not mentioning the quantity of the solution taken out here. I am not mentioning the quantity of the solution taken out here. Question mark. But here I am saying the quantity of this electrolytic solution which has been taken inside this is 1 gram molecular weight. And here also I am mentioning the quantity of the electrolytic solution taken inside the cell. And how much we have taken out here is 1 gram equivalent weight. And this equivalent weight you have heard in the first chapter of class 11 syllabus. Equivalent weight. Okay. So what are the difference in these three pictures? Pictures are same. Here I have not mentioned the quantity of electrolytic solution taken. Here I am mentioning how much solution has been taken, 1 gram molecular weight. And here I am mentioning that how much solution has been taken inside this cell, 1 gram equivalent weight. Molecular weight expressed in gram is called gram molecular weight. Equivalent weight expressed in gram is called gram equivalent weight. So the pictures are same. Here the quantity of solution, how much has been taken is not mentioned. Here I am saying how much solution has been taken, 1 gram molecular weight. And in the last one, how much solution we have taken is 1 gram equivalent weight of the solution has been taken. Now, before I explain you further about this picture, we are going to go with the three definition now. One is called specific conductance, also known by the name conductivity, whose symbol is kappa. Next is your molar conductance, also known by the name molar conductivity. And the symbol of that is capital lambda m, suffix m. Okay. And equivalent conductance or equivalent conductivity symbol capital lambda suffix eq. So eq is in the suffix. So do remember student these all symbols. So what is the symbol for specific conductance or conductivity? Kappa. Looks like k. What is the symbol for molar conductance or molar conductivity means same? Lambda m. And what is the symbol for equivalent conductance or equivalent conductivity? Lambda eq. Do remember student, this is small lambda, okay, and this is called capital lambda. This is your small lambda, this is your which lambda? Capital lambda. And if I put in the suffix M, it becomes molar conductance. In the suffix, if I put here EQ, that becomes equivalent conductance, okay. So this is the symbol for lambda, molar conductance. If you put here M, equivalent conductance, if you put here EQ. So these three definitions we are going to see in this part. And all these three definitions are similar type. All three will not come in exam. Out of three, any one may be asked. But I am teaching you all three. But do remember, out of these three, any one may be asked to you. Okay, out of these three. So let us understand the definition of specific conductance or conductivity first. After that, I will teach you for molar conductance or molar conductivity, symbol lambda m, capital lambda m. Then equivalent conductance or equivalent conductivity symbol capital lambda EQ. And students many have a habit to mark the definitions. Please don't do so. Okay, you can make it. Uh, you can make it in your own sentence also, provided you should know the derivation. So now let us see how to find the definition of specific conductance or conductivity that is kappa first. I have already given this formula in my last class to you. Cell constant means R K. RK is RK here and cell constant even means L by E. I have said you RK went to LA. Cell constant means RK went to what? LA. So cell constant even means RK. Cell constant even means L by A. Now again this resistance is the opposite of conductance. We have seen in our last video. 
So therefore, I replace R with 1 upon C that is conductance. Resistance I am replacing with conductance. Kappa is kappa, L by A is L by A. Now let us bring this one this side. So if you bring this one this side, K into 1 is K only that is kappa. Then C will go this side, so C into L by A. Hope so you all understood till here. Now, if I take the distance between the two electrodes as one unit, means it may be one centimeter, it may be one meter. Similarly, if I take the area as one unit square, means it may be one centimeter square or it may be one meter square. So in its unit, I mentioned here students, you can write one centimeter, one centimeter square it will be. If you write here one meter, here will be one meter square. But in general, we simply write unit and unit square length. So unit area, so square, unit square. So if I consider the distance between the two electrodes as one unit and the distance between the uh, area of the cross section as one unit square, if you put here one once, what will you get? Kappa will remain as kappa here. C will remain as C because one by one is one, one only to write. So we get kappa is equals to C. And from here, we can define specific conductance that is conductivity. So let us see how to define here. Specific conductance. Okay. Specific conductance of conductivity is defined as conductance. See the arrow. Is defined as conductance. Is defined as conductance. Is defined as conductance. Specific conductance or conductivity is defined as conductance. Whose conductance of an electrolytic solution will conduct electricity? So, let us define specific conductance again. It is defined as conductance. It is defined as conductance. Whose? Of an electrolytic solution. When the solution is placed between two electrodes, when the solution is placed between two electrodes, which is unit distance apart, which is unit distance apart, let this distance be one unit, having unit cross-section area. Okay, so we can consider this uh, your length as one unit and the area as one unit square. So let us see how to define then students again. Specific conductance or conductivity is defined as conductance of an electrolytic solution. When the solution is placed between two electrode unit distance apart having unit cross section area. And that will be the definition of specific conductance. So you can see from your students. It is defined as conductance. It is defined as conductance. Who's of an electrolytic solution? When the solution is placed, when the solution is placed between two electrodes, between two electrodes, unit distance apart, unit distance apart, having unit cross-section area, having unit cross-section area. So you have to be very fast when you define it. Okay, so what is the definition of specific conductance or conductivity? It is defined as the conductance. It is defined as the conductance. It is defined as the conductance. It is defined as the conductance of an electrolytic solution. When the solution is placed between two electrodes, unit distance apart, having unit cross section area. Done. So for the last time, it is defined as the conductance of an electrolytic solution. When the solution is placed between how many electrodes? Two which is unit distance apart, having unit cross-section area. And that will give you the definition of specific conductance. Now, let us go with the definition of molar conductance or conductivity. That is lambda M, capital lambda M. And let us see the definition of equivalent conductance or equivalent conductivity, that is lambda EQ. Now, here did I mention any quantity of the solution taken? No. And that gives you the definition of who's out here we got kappa definition we got now here i'm saying one gram molecular weight of the solution has been taken so when you mention this much quantity has been taken that will give you the definition of lambda m that is molar conductance similarly students if you mention that in the definition that one gram equivalent weight of the solution has been taken that that will give you the definition of equivalent conductance that is lambda eq so see three in one definition it is if you don't mention the quantity that becomes the definition of specific conductance or conductivity but if you mention that you have taken one gram molecular weight that gives the definition of molar conductance 
But if you mention this quantity is taken out here is one run equivalent weight, that becomes the definition of equivalent conductance. Okay, now let us see how. You can see I have made a space out here. You may be surprised, sir, after this, why not here? Why you have left this space? Now look out here. If you don't mention anything here in this blank, okay, so it is defined as the conductance of an electrolytic solution when the solution is placed between two electrical unit distance of having unit cross section area. That will give the definition of specific conductance or conductivity. But now in that blank, if I write like this, one gram molecular weight of the solution. If I mention in that blank, one gram molecular weight of the solution. That will give you the definition of molar conductance. So what is the definition of molar conductance? Check now. It is defined as the conductance of an electrolytic solution when, now in this blank you are going to put this, when one gram molecular weight of, one gram molecular weight of the solution is placed between two electrode unit distance apart having unit cross section area and that will give you the definition of molar conductance students. Similarly in that blank, if you write one gram equivalent, one gram equivalent weight of, then that will give you the definition of equivalent conductance. Now let us see how again. Define equivalent conductance. It is defined as the conductance of an electrolytic solution when, now in this blank you put this, when, when, one gram equivalent weight of, when one gram equivalent weight of the solution is placed between two electrodes unit distance apart having unit cross section area. So if you put this one here, that will give you, the, give you the definition of equivalent conductance. If you put this one here, that will give you the definition of molar conductance. But if you leave it like this, then that will be the definition of specific conductance. So student, this becomes your 3-in-1 definition, okay? This becomes your 3-in-1 definition. Keep this in mind. And all three will not come in exam. One will come. So you have to learn all three but. So let us see for that last time. So how to remember these three definitions? If you don't mention the quantity in the definition, that is the definition of specific conductance. If you mention one gram molecular weight, that is the definition of molar conductance. If you mention one gram equivalent weight has been taken, that is the definition of equivalent conductance. Okay? So let us see the definition of the first one, one last time. That is for specific conductance. It is defined as the conductance whose of an electrolytic solution when the solution is placed between two uh, electrode unit distance apart having unit cross section area. How to define for this? It is defined as conductance of an electrolytic solution when one gram molecular weight of the solution is placed between two electrode which is unit distance apart having unit cross section area. It is defined as it is defined as conductance of an electrolytic solution when one gram equivalent weight of the solution is placed between two electrode unit distance apart having unit cross section area. So from here you can remember students. If you don't write anything in this blank and no need to show, then that will give you the definition of conductivity. But in this blank, if you put this, that will give you the definition of molar conductance. And in that blank, if you put this, that will give you the definition of equivalent conductance. I hope so you all understood till here, students. Now your job is to revise. Okay, you can take the screenshot of this, then you can make the note from it, and if you want, you can repeat the video. But please zoom and check. Done? So, so you all understood these all three definitions. Now your job is to make note from it. Okay, students. Now what we are going to do in the next class is we are going to see the relation between these three. Okay. In our next class, we are going to see the relation between these three. Relation between specific conductance kappa and molar conductance lambda m. Relation between kappa, specific conductance and equivalent conductance that is lambda eq. Then we see the relation between lambda m and lambda eq. Okay, that relations we are going to see. And whatever relation we get, from there we get the formula. And with that formula, we have to do the numerical problem. Thank you very much for today. See you in my next class. Thank you.